वेलकम टू द गुरुकुल प्रेप डेली पॉडकास्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑक्टोबर अपडेट वन अपॉइंटमेंट विजय किशोर रहाटकर अपॉइंटेड एज चेयरपर्सन ऑफ एनसीडब्ल्यू द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर विमेन हैज अ न्यू चेयरपर्सन सिक्स जया किशोर रहाटकर हु सर्व एज द महाराष्ट्र वुमेन्स कमीशन चीफ फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी वन एज द नाइन्थ चीफ शी रिप्लेसिस रेखा शर्मा whose second term expired in august rahatkar's appointment is effective immediately according to the official statement according to a statement released by the women and child development ministry rahatkar was the bjp's national secretary and co in charge of rajasthan in addition to rahatkar's appointment the ministry said archana majumdar has been officially named a member of ncw for 3 years update 2 banking navi finserv withdraws bond sale following rbi ban on new loans navi finserv has called off its plan bond issue this ruling comes only days after the country's banking authority prohibited the non-bank finance firm nbfc from making new loans according to bankers the company wanted to raise 1 billion rupees almost 12 million dollars using 2 year and 3 month notes with a coupon of 10.40% and a quarterly payment schedule on 17th october the reserve bank of india rbi took action against four nbfcs including navi finserv citing material supervisory concerns and instructing them to cease the sanction and disbursement of loans update 3 economy Adar Poonawala acquires 50% stake in Karan Johar's Dharma Productions. Sareen Productions, held by Adar Poonawala, has agreed to invest 1000 crore rupees in Dharma Productions and Dharmatik Entertainment, owned by Karan Johar. As a result of this deal, Sareen Productions will control 50% of Dharma, while Karan Johar will keep the remaining 50%. According to a statement, Karan Johar the executive chairman will lead the company's creative direction as the chief executive officer apurva mehta will work with karan johar to steer the strategic direction and oversee the organization's operational excellence update 4 international iit madras set to launch international research center in dubai by 2025 the indian institute of technology madras plans to open its first international flagship center for research innovation and entrepreneurship in early 2025 the iitm global dubai center will focus on cutting edge sectors such as artificial intelligence ai data science robotics and sustainable energy establishing a new link to india's entrepreneurial environment The institute's plans to establish the center in Dubai have been facilitated through an agreement between the Indian Institute of Technology Madras IITM and the Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism DET. Update 5 International Pakistan limits chief justice's term to 3 years. Pakistan adopted legislation limiting the chief justice's term to 3 years and establishing a special panel to pick the top judge from 3 senior supreme court judges despite opposition from imprisoned former prime minister Imran Khan's party President Asif Ali Zardari signed the constitution 26th amendment act 2024 after both houses of parliament enacted it the senate and the national assembly With the 26th Constitution Amendment Bill becoming law, the government can now prevent Justice Masood Ali Shah from succeeding current Chief Justice Lazi Faiz Isa, who is slated to retire on 25th October after reaching retirement age of 65 years. Update 6 Miscellaneous 18th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas to be held in Bhuvneshwar, Odisha. Odisha will hold the 18th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas in its capital city Bhuvneshwar from 8th January to 10th of next year. Odisha Chief Minister Mohan Charan Maji has approved a proposal from the Union Ministry of External Affairs. The colossal event will be hosted at Bhuvneshwar's Janta Maidan. President Draupadi Murmu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, numerous union ministers 
and Odisha chief minister, among others, are set to attend the ceremony. The Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is being celebrated to commemorate the arrival of father of the nation Mahatma Gandhi in India from South Africa on 9th January 1915. Update 7. Miscellaneous Discovery of 16th century copper plates in Tiruvallur district Copper plate inscriptions with two pages from the 16th century C were recently unearthed in the Sri Singhiswarar temple in Mappedu village, Tiruvallur district. As per T.R. Prakash, Executive Officer, Additional Charge, of the temple, the inscriptions were discovered during a routine check of the lockers on the premises, which are administratively controlled by the Hindu Religious and Charitable Endowments, H.R. and C.E. Department. The two leaves of the copper plates were strung together using a ring that had the seal of the Vijjangra Kingdom. The official alerted the Epigraphy Division of the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, through the State Archaeology Department. Update 8. Schemes and Committees Government to extend Udan scheme for 10 more years. Civil Aviation Minister K. Ram Mohan Naidu announced that the government is extending the Regional Aviation Connectivity Project Udan, Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagrik, for another 10 years. According to the minister, Udan has resulted in establishing and expanding regional airlines, creating jobs, and contributing to tourism. The minister made the announcement during an event in the national capital commemorating the scheme's 8-year anniversary. As many as 601 routes and 71 airports have been operationalized under the Regional Air Connectivity Scheme. Udan is aimed at enhancing regional air connectivity and making flying more affordable. Update 9. Sports Railways triumph over Indian oil to clinch women's hockey title. Railway Sports Promotion Board, RSPB, defeated Indian oil 3-1 in the final of the Senior Women Interdepartmental National Hockey Championship in New Delhi, taking revenge for their loss in last year's summit game. The match hosted at the Major Dhyanchand National Stadium, featured some of India's best hockey players and served as an exciting final to the tournament. In a closely fought contest, Indian Oil broke the deadlock in the 18th minute with a stunning goal from Deepika. The two teams remained neck and neck until the fourth quarter when Railways captain, Navneet Kaur, put her team ahead with a crucial goal. Update 10. State Assam CM launches Mission Basundhara 3.0 At a ceremony held at Sri Manta Shankardev Kalakshetra in Guwahati, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma introduced Mission Basundhara 3.0, which aims to grant land rights to indigenous people. He went on to say that the state government was shocked by the extraordinary volume of applications it received from various beneficiaries as soon as it started this mission. The chief minister said the state government disposed of 8 lakh applications in 9 months under Mission Basundhara 